Alright guys, welcome to another knot tying video. This is going to be for the Palmer knot, which is normally what I use for braid, but you can also use it for mono and fluorocarbon. Uh, one reason you don't want to use the clincher knot, fisherman's knot, or the improved clincher knot, whatever, whatever you want to call it, on uh, braid is because a lot of times when it gets wet, it slips, your knot breaks or comes out, you know, it sucks. So, this is what you should use for braid. First thing you want to do, as always, feed your line through the eye hole. And this time you're going to want a lot of tag. To, for, for a later step, so just make sure you have a lot of line through that eye hole. Next step is you're going to feed it back through your eye hole. So you're going to take that tag, you're going to feed it back through your eye hole, and then there you go, you have a little line on both sides, you have a loop over here, and then you have the uh, main line and your tag over here. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is tie a square knot. So you're going to take these and just tie a simple square knot like you're tying your shoes and then you still have your loop over here. And now this is where the extra tag comes in. This loop is very important for it to be big enough to go around your hook. So what you're gonna do is, now you're gonna open your little loop here, and then you're gonna take your hook and put it through the loop, like that. Okay, now this is not gonna work too well with my rope, but now all you have to do is, this is your main line. Once you put that loop through, you're gonna keep your loop above the hook so it doesn't get tangled. And then you're gonna pull tight, and then that loop should slowly collapse into the knot like that then you have your extra tag that you can cut off right here cut that off and then you're good that is your palmer knot so if this direction wasn't very well there's also many other videos and I'm sorry if I didn't do a very good job but if you can go back and look through and slow it down if you need to but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this knot tying video and please subscribe